Hi folks, two Fusion 360 move command tips that are so good, they're worth their own video. The first example, I wanna duplicate this and see if I can fit a second one on my fixture plate. I'm pretty sure I can, but I'd like to be sure. So right click, copy, and I will paste. And a lot of times I'll just move it over and I can get it pretty close here. Uh, and to be honest, in this case, that might be enough to kind of tell me, okay, this is going to work. But let's say you want to be a little bit more uh, deliberate with your CAD work. S, keyboard shortcut for move, M-O-V-E, move or copy. I can click that body, but instead of the default free move command, switch over here to point to point. And if you don't know about this, trust me, it's a game changer. I'm now gonna click on the center point of that bore and I'll move around and I'll click on the center point of this bore and click okay. And I've now moved that into position without having to create a joint. A related tip, if you're having trouble picking the feature you want because your mouse cursor jumps around, once your cursor is over the plane that you want, hold down the control key on your keyboard and it locks the selection in. So regardless of where your cursor moves, the choice selections don't change. The second tip, I'll do another move command. I'll pick my body. And let's say I just wanna move it down a distance of say half an inch. You'll notice I'm back to the default free move setting. And I click okay. And it's the wonders and powers of parametric CAD. I have a design history this timeline and I can right click on this feature and what the heck, it doesn't remember the values. When I first saw this, I kind of thought, actually Ed brought it up and I spent some time looking into it and I kind of thought this is ridiculous. Well, shout out to Rob Lockwood who set me straight here. Solution is don't use that free move command. Uh, frankly, I think this should be the default, but at least you know, click on your component or body, and instead of free move, switch to the second option, translate, scroll down our, say, negative 0.4 inches, we'll go down negative half an inch in Z. You still get your same move in the timeline, but this time when you edit the feature, you can see the value of that move. As always, folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.